we have 3x plus 4 equals 37, we've got x's and numbers over here, just numbers over here. What's out of place? If we want to get x by itself, what's out of place? Yeah? You want to bring, you want to um, add 4? If I add 4, I have 3x plus 8 oh, wait, sorry, equals. Wait, sorry. What am I going to do? Oh, Subtract. No, I'm, I'm really glad you brought that up because a lot of people will do that. you got to ask yourself, yeah, what, what do I have to do to get rid of it? If it's a positive 4, I have to subtract. All right. Now what? Is x by itself? So you have to divide each side by 3 because you don't, you don't want to know what 3x is, you want to know what 1x is. So x equals 11. Questions on the first one? All right, a lot of people had questions on this one. But I'm going to say that I think this is actually simpler than this one. This one we had to do two steps. This you have to do one step. You've got x divided by negative 4. How do you undo a divide by negative 4? By what? To undo divide, you multiply. Just like to undo you multiply, you divide. So if x is being divided by negative 4, I'm going to multiply each side by negative 4. This cancels out. And what's negative 24 times negative 4? It's the same idea as this divide. Here we were multiplying by 3, so we divided by 3. Here we were dividing, so we multiply. We do whatever is going to allow us to cancel it out. Deja, does that make sense? Yes. You, you do whatever it takes to do the, op you do the opposite. You undo it. You do the inverse. You want to help us see? Yes, absolutely. All right, go ahead. Who agrees with adding 7 instead of subtracting 7? Why is there a saying add 7? Kaylin, why? Well, if you add 7 to negative 7, what are you going to get on the left? If you add to a negative, it's negative 7 plus 7. What's that going to be? Zero. And that's the whole point. So, Larissa, what do you do next? Or what is, what is that equal then? Okay. So you're multiplying each side by the reciprocal, which is 5 over 3. 